people are great. Mm -hmm. okay, yes, 19. And then you have one extra condition. Okay, to okay. have g square equal to zero. Okay, that reduces to 18. Yes, so that's basically a dimension count. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay. You want projectively? Projectively, you want yeah, you know, projectively, for every project. You see, if I have, so this condition also holds for non-projective. And still we have a Lagrangian fibration. Yeah. So therefore, there are these two kinds of um, uh, cast surfaces which we kind of can understand. We have geometric picture for the surfaces. For surfaces here, yes, in a dense, but uh, then everywhere dense subset, but generic, we have no good understanding of the surface. There, there are some hints, but okay. And, and, and it is always possible by uh, hyperhelic twist of uh, complex structure. Yeah, 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 yeah. Change uh, Lagrangian vibration into complex. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. But it's uh, sort of it's complex, so it's complex, so it's a it's a bit more difficult. Yeah, yeah that's exactly in this case. But you know, for example, I'll say there are some simple algebraic objects of this of, of properties of the series which can be done by hand. You can, you can have a picture, but. There are some elements of the theory which are quite non-trivial, and these are related, for example, for metrics. So there are no formulas for what is called Calabia metric, which looks like rather simple. Should should have been a simple object here because that's how you get this explicit solutions, but they don't exist. Okay. Okay. So. So what happens in higher dimensions? Now, frankly speaking, I have to say the mm, uh, story that, in fact, I wrote in 73. I had a drama, so I couldn't go to uh, uh, writing, and uh, I couldn't go to my standard mountain trip in the summer. So in 73, I wrote a thesis where I kind of uh, devoted to mainly uh, trivial canonical class, where I introduced this notion, but that completely other uh, the composition theorem and many other things, and in particular there was a notion of uh, high dimension analog of cash resurfaces, uh, which I, I call I used to call Hamiltonian varieties. And exactly, I looked at this kind of picture, so the break from the store and so on. But then mm -hmm. I had an idea at the time, and everybody, nobody was working in this area. And so my impression was that it shouldn't exist in high dimension, then there were some arguments. And then uh, uh, in 78, I published an article about non-existence of deformation, which provided a similar picture for modern spaces. And then I concluded they shouldn't exist. But that was a mistake. The theory was true, but the conclusion was computations. Yeah. And so then it, they were discovered, and in quite simple way, actually. And since then, there are very few actually which appear. So in the process of ages, so since then, fantastically enough, the, uh, the domain developed into very different directions, into physics, into some special geometry. So this is kind of hyperparallel geometry, so hyperparallel geometry. And in particular, Lagrangian theory of Lagrangian vibrations, of Lagrangian vibrations. So this is a well developed area, <coughs> and I will try to say something, but it's a big area. It's a big area. So though the number of um, old compact objects is uh, not so, so big. So at the moment, I will say that there are, exist two series of such objects. Uh, to two infinite series, like in case of, uh, like in case of um, Lie algebra, so, the complex algebra, and two particular examples. I would say what it means. So, currently, 
hypercarburetic. So take as n of k resolves. So this is symmetric power of the k resolves. Now the point is that this symmetric power is naturally singular. So locally, so this is singular, right? Singular. However, uh, and mainly the singularities are very simple. You take C and then C2 to the power n. We all know that if you take C to the power n and divide by sigma n as n, yes, this is nonsense. This is this is C. That's basically the theory of the prism. It doesn't hold for C2. So if you have C2 to the power n, and we divide by s n, it's, it, it gets simpler. It's, it's simpler. However, uh, due to the works of, I remember only the name of Yerabina, but there were some other people who developed the theory how to canonically disangularize this local right. So instead of s n, so there is a canonical So canonical disingularization, I, I would say approximately how it is done. So instead of so this is a collection of n points. Collection. So basically what is this collection of n points? And instead we should look at collection of n dimensional and dimensional rings. See, that means we have an ideal. Yes, for example. Mm. So, for example, when we have two points, we can actually consider something like ring into the divided by x2. So, these are glue dimensional points. A collection of n-dimensional. Sorry. Mm -hmm. uh, I cannot be collection of n-dimensional what? Rings. Over C, yeah. Over C, basic n-dimensional schemes of better say mm, mm, schemes of uh, rank yeah. mm -hmm. And then that's provided. So in this case, for example, we have P1 and we have a point and direction. So P1. So that's kind of disangularization. Um, so if you look at all of them, I won't describe it in detail, uh, but there is a disangularization which has important properties. So first, uh, so this is singular, but first it is non singular. So this is case C2 to the power n by sn tilde. It subjects on C2 to the power n. By sun. And this is non singular. Like in case of pairs of points, it blow ups, it gives you a kind of P1 over a single point. So P1 fiber, and in high dimension, it's more complicated. But it's explicitly described. And it has two features. First, it is non singular, and second, the form. Let's say DZ2, DZ2, one, one, let's sample I. Yeah. This form, standard form, you take C2 as coordinates, take standard form, then it defines, defines a holomorphic, non-degenerate local form. So that's the main ingredient. And in this way, you can get a similar, so since it is a local formula, and it is, a, it is easy kind of to organize this. So, so I, I actually told it in such a way. So local schemes of lengths n, yeah, over C. So if we disengrace like that, then we get a smooth variety. So for any surface, So 
this way for any surface. 